Hey guys, thanks for joining us. I'm here with Evan Denbaum with uh, Su Super Evil Mega Corpse. He's also known as Playoff Beards, and I want to ask him a little bit about esports. Can you explain a little bit of what, what is esports? Oh, sure. Well, uh, most people are familiar with professional sports, whether that's football, hockey, basketball, baseball. Well, this is just the natural evolution of that that uh, takes advantage of the boom in gaming. For me in particular, it's mobile gaming where there's a addressable audience on PCs of about 800 million, uh, 800 million players out there. And uh, for on mobile, it's an addressable audience, so we're getting to about 5 billion. So about 5 billion people with phones in their pockets or with tablets, devices where they can play games. And uh, we have a professional scene with uh, players who they play the game, they play Vainglory for a living uh, with huge prize pools in these tournaments. We're here for the Summer Live Championships and uh, they're the best players from around North America coming together to uh, try to compete, win the tournament, and and uh, win the prize pool, and in this case also qualify for the world championships uh, later in December. So it's uh, it's professional sports, but with electronic devices, that's eSports for you. Wow, that's awesome. And uh, just speaking back about the vain, the vain glory tournaments, what are the prize pools like? Oh, so uh, they're, they're in the hundreds of thousands. Um, so... The players, you know, for them, it's to play for a weekend and they get a big paycheck. Uh, that's, you know, that's pretty good. And I think that will evolve over time. It's not, it's not Dota yet. It's not the Dota millions yet, but uh, I think it'll get there. To the best of my knowledge, um, I believe uh, PC is the main, the, the biggest kind of esports um, right now. But where do you see touchscreen touch esports uh, going in the near future? Well, I think that's just going to take care of itself because uh, there are just so many devices out there, right, that uh, somebody, some game is going to hit it so big that it's not just going to be uh, an eSport when you're talking about billions of people. At that point, it's just like a uh, mainstream sport. So I don't know if Vainglory uh, will be the game, but I'm confident that there will be a game out there that uh, connects with a wide enough range of an audience that uh, it's a huge success as a mobile eSport. Okay, that that's amazing. Um, I was wondering, as for as for teams um, for touchscreen esports, do they have a house kind of like um, the the Dota players or League of Legends players? They kind of have their own house and uh, they would practice together. How about how about for touchscreen esports? Uh, yeah, it's different for every team, but that is absolutely something that they do. They also boot camp, and and these are all the same organizations that people are familiar with in Vainglory, uh, the Summer Champions for North America that were just crowned. That was team. Solo mid. Uh, there's Cloud9 in Europe, which is uh, next weekend. Uh, there's SK Gaming and G2 Esports and Mouse Sports, Team Secret from Dota fame. So uh, all these same giant esport, all these same giant uh, esport organizations that are bringing all of the same support staff learnings uh, to mobile esports, uh, supporting their teams that same way with with analysts, with coaches, with managers, and with players and if that's a uh, week-long boot camp, that's what they'll do. If it's uh, having a gaming house and they think that's what's going to bring the most success, then that's what they'll do. Okay. And as for tournaments, are there tournaments where uh, people with the electronic devices can kind of play wherever they want, or do they have to attend a, a actual tournament location? Uh, it's both. So uh, most of the time, uh, the qualifications and the seasons are remote play where people are anywhere. Um, but then ultimately, if you are among the best of the best, it will come culminate in the live championships, which is always at a venue. In this case, we were at the uh, Amazon headquarters uh, here in Seattle. In past seasons, we've been, uh, you know, on the Walk of Fame in Hollywood at, at venues there, uh, ESL venues over in Europe. So it's uh, it's different every season, um, or depending on what part of the world the tournament is taking place in. But the season-ending tournaments are always live venues where the players travel and, and play in person. Okay, well, that, uh, you've answered a lot of great, que uh, great, an uh, great questions that I had. Uh, one of the last questions I want to ask you was, um, if people want to reach out to you or if people want to find you, where can they find you? 
Uh, so for Vainglory, uh, you can just head to the Amazon App Store, the Apple App Store, the uh, Android, uh, uh, Google Play, uh, whatever you prefer. It's a free download. Uh, check it out. And I, I can't promise you're going to be an uh, eSports star overnight, but uh, hopefully you'll have some fun with it. And uh, maybe if you're, you know, among the best of the best, you know, you'll find yourself in one of these big tournaments one day. Awesome. Thank you very much for your time. We'll talk to you soon. Cheers. Cheers.